Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. During the 2016 Game Awards, a new game from a new studio was announced that should be on all of our radars, and that game is called Dauntless. Dauntless is a 1-4 person cooperative action RPG coming in 2017 for the PC, and it will be free to play. This game is being made by a studio called Phoenix Labs, a new developer made up of industry vets from BioWare, Riot, Capcom, and Blizzard. The best way to put this game is that it looks like a western monster hunter, but promises to have elements that will make it unique. And from what I can tell from the limited gameplay preview we got, it looks amazing. It appears that the game's been in development for about two and a half years. In this game, you play the role of a slayer, and you work out of a town called Ramsgate, which is a port town that stands at the edge of the Shattered Islands. The Shattered Islands are a small but independent group of islands that you fly to via airships. Some are undiscovered lands, some are inhabited, but all of them share the same problem, and that are huge monsters called behemoths that are threatening to take them over. It's them or us, so it's your job as a slayer to go and hunt those bad boys down. At the heart of this game universe is the concept of ether, an energy source contained in the earth that can take on forms of different elements. The monsters use it to take in different elemental properties and gain new powers, and the slayers use it to imbue their weapons and gear with powers as well. The way that Ether interacts with each weapon is different. For the axe, you can do powerful charged up elemental strikes, which we can see in this clip when the Slayer severs the tail of the Drask. For the hammer, Ether powers the cannon in the back of the hammer head, which you can use to do powerful combo finishers and also jump attacks. For the sword, every hit that you do charges up energy, and then you can then use it to do a fast combo of attacks. The best way I can say it is the sword in this one looks like the sword from the Switch Axe in Monster Hunter, not the Great Sword. It's going to be fast and furious. Like Monster Hunter, and this is the crux, you can craft weapons and armor out of the large monsters that you take down. When you kill a behemoth, you earn what the game calls Aspect Arcanite, which is kind of like a crystallized form of that monster's energy. I think we can look at it sort of like a general carve item. Also, if you break apart on a monster, you'll earn special materials that are also used to make weapons and gear. Speaking about breaking parts, here's a picture of the behemoth called the Ember Main, and it shows which parts on it can be broken. Here we can see that the tail can be severed and the top horn and the bottom chin horn can be broken. After a period of time, monsters will go into an enraged state, making them faster, more deadly, and allowing them to draw more ether energy from the earth to do wild attacks. Here we can see what it looks like visually when they're enraged with the ether energy flowing through its body. Very cool. And while information is still limited, we have confirmation system-wise that there's also going to be gathering as well in the form of minerals, critter bits, and flora. The Behemoths. So far they've unveiled three monsters. Shrike. This is the bird-like monster that we saw in the trailer. We've also seen from their website the design for its hammer, sword, and the armor. Drask. This is a lightning type monster that is slower but more powerful. This is also the poor monster that we see getting its face smashed in and tail cut off in the preview that they've shown us. Embermane. Embermane is a blaze type monster that is apparently fast and savage. We haven't seen any gameplay from it yet, but it looks like it's going to be an agile one. Now while details are still very limited, the website does have some very informative posts which I've been pulling information from to make this video. You can also sign up for the beta, and if you're lucky it seems that you can also get chosen to go into the closed alpha as well. If you have any interest in the game whatsoever, it might be worth going and signing up now as you can grab dibs on your username of choice. One thing that is incredibly encouraging, and this is just really important I think for community, is that if you follow them on Twitter or any of the other social sites, you'll see that this developer is very open arms to the community, which is going to be very awesome for a cooperative Monster Hunter-like game. Honestly, for me, there's no reason not to get super excited. The game looks great, it's going to be free to play, the soundtrack is going to be great, and it's being made by Monarch Audio, which are awesome, um, and all these other great news as we keep getting, it just sounds really good. I did play Monster Hunter Online from the Chinese version and it proved to me that the free to play model can certainly work very well for a hunting game as long as they don't make it pay to win. And personally I like the idea much more than a subscription type model which is something like Monster Hunter Frontier does. Let me know down in comments below what you're looking forward to most when it comes to this game or anything else that comes to mind. 
and I just wanted to let you guys know that I'll be following this game closely as we learn more, and because it's right up our alley, I thought I wanted to give you guys a heads up about it so you could put it on your radar as well. Until next time, happy hunting.